My name is Eva Rorandelli. I'm an Italian artist and I have been working uh, with paintings and performances and video installations in the past few years and have been showing in the States and in Europe as well. And my work has been um, dealing with themes that have to do with technology and posthumanism uh, more and more in my latest work. My work has been influenced by many, many things. I'm actually from Florence, Italy. So I have been working with figurative art and portraiture for many years. And I have been inspired by the Florentine tradition from 1400s to contemporary art in Italy. But at the same time, I studied in New York for many years and worked in fashion as well. So all of these elements are combined in my latest work. In my paintings, what I'm trying to do is kind of giving a take on posthumanism from a woman and an artist's point of view. The women in my paintings are losing their identity. Their contours and their clothing are becoming more and more part of the environment. And it's not clear if the figure itself is part of this background or not, if she's actually human or not. My women are cyborg in a way but also are individuals who are confused in this society in which the boundary between what's real and unreal is increasingly blurry. My work also includes different materials, um, not only the use of paper and collage, but also the use of leather and fabric. The performance hiding, for example, started with the creation of a costume and then it became um, a video installation. The intent of this piece was to make a visual representation of a creature. She lives in a world in which the environment is completely altered and modified by human intervention that still has some natural elements, but where the natural evolution has been replaced by technological evolution. At a certain point in the movie, she is extremely terrified by noises and robots or monsters, and she hides into her costume. It's like a dreamlike scenario in which everything has lost control and technology has taken over the world and nature. 